What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Today I'm finally filming my everyday skincare and hair care routine. This has been a super requested video and I'm so excited to share all my favorite products with you guys. As you can see, my skin is breaking out a lot more than usual and that is actually because I tried to dermaplane my skin myself. If you don't know what dermaplaning is, it's basically like taking a single edge razor and shaving your face, but also kind of like taking off the top layer of your skin, kind of exfoliating in a way. I already had a really bad reaction to dermaplaning when I was like 16, so I should have known better. I won't be doing that again anytime soon. I actually used to have pretty bad acne when I was 16 and 17, and I will include some of the pictures of what my skin used to look like. And when that bad acne was going on, I did see a dermatologist who kind of helped me just like narrow down my products to the ones that really work because I found that with my skin, the more products I use, the more overwhelmed my skin will get. So now I just use a few products. They all work very well. And yeah, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. I used to use an acne specific face wash, but now I just use the CeraVe foaming cleanser and I wash my face with that twice a day, once in the morning and once in the shower at night. I use the normal to oily skin version. So I just do that twice a day and then right after that I will put on my acne cream which is the La Roche-Posay Ethiclar Duo Dual Action Acne Treatment. Don't know if I'm saying that right. This stuff is amazing. It has definitely improved my acne. It's very gentle on my skin. If I do have like a big breakout or one big pimple or something like that, I will go in on top of the La Roche-Posay and put acne on the spot treatment. It's Neutrogena, I've been using this for years and it's also very gentle. This is also just my nighttime routine. In the morning, it is just washing my face and moisturizing and the everyday moisturizer I use is the La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer. At night, I use just the normal one and in the morning, I use the one that is SPF 30 because in the morning, of course, I like to put on a little sunscreen, which is why I really like the combination of their moisturizer with SPF in it. And sometimes in the winter or when weather is changing or when I'm moving and stuff like that, my skin will get really, really dry. Pretty much the only thing that fixes that is this Avene product. This is basically a moisturizer on steroids and it is the only thing I have found that will fix my skin when it's been super irritated. But I do not use this every day because if you use it a lot, it will clog your pores. So I try just to use it every now and then when I really need it. And I'll basically just give myself like a mask of this and really load it up so my skin really absorbs it and sucks it all in. And I'll probably do that like, I don't know, maybe once a month if that. And it is a really great product. Like I said, I really simplify my skincare routine and this has really been helping me with acne also just with oil control and dryness control and I really think that I have benefited from a more simple skincare routine. I've also found that it really helps control my breakouts when I wash my beauty blenders and my brushes. I cannot emphasize this enough. It is so important to wash your brushes and replace and wash your beauty blenders pretty often because a lot of bacteria can get trapped in those things and it gets pretty gross. So washing them is definitely a must. I also use this face mask um, about once a week. It is the Bosia charcoal pore putting and this also really draws out any acne that I'll have and it will bring pimples to the surface so I can get them out of there. And I've been using this mask for years. It is by far my favorite. It's pretty much the only one that I use and it is a little bit expensive, but definitely worth it. So yeah, like I said, that is pretty much all I do for my skin, pretty simple. So now let's move on to my hair care routine. My hair used to be a hot mess. It was dry, it was gross, I had split ends all the time. But last year I got Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner and that 
completely transformed my hair, made it so soft, so shiny. My hair had literally never felt like that in my life. And that really got me interested in hair care because I didn't know that my hair could look that good. And I actually ended up stopping the Function of Beauty just because it's kind of expensive. But I switched my shampoo and conditioner to products that I can find at the grocery store just so it's a little bit easier for me, also a little bit cheaper. And just a little disclaimer before I go film myself washing my hair, I am wearing a bikini. I am not naked on the internet, don't worry. But yeah, let's go wash my hair. I use the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco shampoo and conditioner. And I do really massage the shampoo into my roots because my hair does get pretty oily throughout the day. And I do have really, really thick hair. So I do use quite a bit of conditioner just to make sure it gets in all of my hair. And it is so important to get sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. Because if it's not sulfate-free, I get breakouts along my hairline and back knee. And once I switch to sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner, that completely cleared up. I also recently started using the Shea Moisturizer Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. This stuff really gets into my hair, makes it so soft. This is also sulfate free. I do wash it out with like lukewarm to cold water because I think that just makes my hair softer for some reason. And then when I get out, I wrap it up in a hair towel and I'm not sure exactly what the benefits are of this. I'm pretty sure it just makes my hair dry faster and like I said, I have a lot of hair so definitely need as much help as possible with drying it because I do not use a hair dryer. I let it air dry while I sleep. So I will leave this in for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and then I brush it out using a wet brush. You can get wet brushes literally anywhere and they are so cheap and they won't pull your hair and they're so gentle on knots. I actually don't ever brush my hair when it's dry. I will only brush it after I get out of the shower and this is so nice for combing through wet hair. After I brush it, I will either use one of three products. I will either use this leave-in um, Moroccan oil and I just put that all at the ends of my hair to keep them from drying out, getting split in, stuff like that, because my hair is really long right now and I actually haven't cut it in almost a year now. So this really helps me keep the ends nice and healthy. And if I don't use that, I will use this Function of Beauty leave-in conditioner. I will basically put this from like here down and it makes my hair super soft. And probably like once a month, I will use a hair mask. This one I got in Australia. I'm not sure if they sell it in the US. It is Strand Strengthening Reconstructive Moisture Mask from Kristen S. And I will just put this in my hair pretty much like from here down again and I will usually like tie it up and then leave that in for like 10 to 15 minutes and that also really rehydrates my hair if I've been shooting a lot and my hair feels really dry I will use this and my hair will be back to normal but today I'm just going to use the Moroccan oil in my ends usually like a quarter size because I do have a lot of hair to get through And before I go to bed, I will tie it back in a pretty loose low ponytail because I find that helps just like control frizziness and make my waves less poofy because I do have naturally wavy hair. And I also sleep on a silk pillowcase and that also is good for your skin and your hair. Definitely helps with frizz control. And that's about all I do as far as hair care. I don't really do anything to it in the morning. I just kind of run my fingers through it instead of brushing it. And that's about it. I really hope you guys like this video and I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time.